I work in a Mexican food place where I'm making burritos all day. And a couple of days ago, I found out that the store, the place that I'm working at, is closing down. We're closing down because we're not making enough money. Maybe because I keep eating all the food, but it's happening all very quick. Like, uh, I'm still processing it, to be honest. And what I don't like about the situation is that the uh, uncertainty of it all, uh, it's all like up in the air. Um, because when they told us, uh, it wasn't just like, hey, the store is shutting down, so you guys got to get a new job. It was more like, hey, the store is shutting down, but half of you can go to the other store, the other Mexican place nearby. So it was kind of like, even though it seemed like you're good, like you still have a job at the new place, it was still kind of like a Hunger Games experience, you know, like only half of us, only half of you guys can stay and the other half has to go and battle it out. <laughs> it wasn't like that, but um, with the uncertainty, um, that's how it felt. And what I don't like about the situation is that my destiny, my my future, my ability to not worry at night. You know that mental clarity of how am I going to pay my rent, of how, what am I going to do, what's going to happen? Like, I just, as I mentioned, everything's all up in the air. But the person controlling my emotions, the person who determines if I have a job or not, the person who determines if I can pay rent is not even my manager. The person in control of my future is my manager's manager's manager, manager. And it just, I'm not going to blame the my manager or her manager's manager and I'm not going to blame any of them uh, because it's not even their fault, to be honest. It's it's all on me. It's not because I can just take this situation, the situation that I'm in right now. I could choose to react like, what? Oh, man, I hate the manager's manager's manager. And I hate uh, this job. And oh, uh, why? Like, oh, uh, the government or something like, you know, you know what I mean? Like, I could choose to react in a way where. Uh, it, it doesn't help me and and it's been hard to not to react like that when you know everything's up in the air and I don't know what I'm going to do next week and where I'm coming from with this video is that I, I'm not blaming the Mexican food place or the corporate ladder more so when I found out the news that I could be losing my job and that I had to do Hunger Games to keep my job, more so I was disappointed in myself. I've read the four hour work week. I've read the hundred million dollar offers. I've read the how to win friends and influence people of, of the superior man. And I'm still in a position where I'm letting someone else be in control of my life. My, I'm letting someone else up in the corporate ladder. I'm letting them control if I get a good night's sleep or not. I let them control my, um, my satisfaction of life. And that's when I was, where I was quite disappointed, where, wow, you know, I've read the four hour work week a few times and I'm still not in a position that I can not only like retire my parents and like 
that kind of stuff. But even just the stages before that where, oh, wow, I, I'm not able to have the, uh, the stability to support myself in a situation like this when, when someone in the corporate ladder can just be like, hey, your store is closing and hey, uh, you may not have a job. And what's interesting as well is um, like a few days before we found out that the uh, store was closing down. Before that, I was literally like questioning this. Like I didn't, I didn't like uh, the situation that I, you know, the the long shifts, the customer service, the um, the gossip that comes in these work cultures, and that's not me complaining. That's just me saying like, that's not my values. That's not my values to go to a place where. I have to work for some people who don't really care about me. And on top of that, I have to work with the, the, you know, like the gossip. You can't really avoid the gossip, right? But, um, the gossip is there. And then you got to serve customers in your smiley customer service face when you don't even feel like it. Um, that's what I'm talking about when my values are don't align at this work at this job and the only reason why i'm here is because i need to pay i need to pay the rent and that just goes back to the situation uh, that just goes back to the overall thing be before the before even having a job like wow bro like you've literally not even put yourself in a good enough I've not even put myself in a good enough situation where, yeah, where, where daddy doesn't control my life, where daddy tells me to come in at work at 11, daddy tells me to come home, finish work half past nine, and Yeah, uh, this makes me realize that it's a good humbling experience to just to really like, it just shows me I'm not working hard enough. Like, honestly, like there's no, there's no way to put it. Like, even though I've quit video games and, and all those self-improvement little things, I'm not working as hard or as smart as I can be if I've read a few, I've read the four hour work week a few times now, um, over the last two years. And I'm still in this position where someone else is in control of my destiny, of, of my schedule. Like what? Like, And it's all for a paycheck as well. And uh, why it hurts and why I'm disappointed is that I'm coming into a job that doesn't align with my values. All for a paycheck. And not going to lie, I love money and the chase of it, even though you're not meant to. Um, but I need to... I need this job for a paycheck, but there are better ways of making money better as in there are better ways to make money that doesn't drain you. There are ways to make money where you can do, you can make money while still being aligned with your values, where you don't have to put on a fake customer service smile and then kiss up to some boss and have to endure the white gossip drama that just drains you even more. There's better ways. And clearly in four hour work week, the book, there are ways where I can do it. That doesn't drain me where
where my satisfaction of life isn't reliant on a corporate manager who doesn't even know I exist, who doesn't In saying that, I have work, <laughs> I have work in like an hour and this is a good reminder for me that I am simply not working hard enough, as efficient, as effective as, I'm not doing my best essentially. I'm not doing my best if I'm still letting daddy control my time. Thank you.